ikaw ay anak ni Alan Banjola. Yeah, apo. Tapos, hindi ka doon nagpaalam na pupunta ka dito, hindi niya alam. Yeah, it has a story po. Uh, actually, matatakal ko rin po dito. Okay, sige, okay. continue. Please. So, um, good morning, Senator J.V. Hercito, Ms. Pia Caetano, Senator Ronald De La Rosa, Senator Padilla, members of the Senate Committee and fellow citizens, I am the son of the cyclist. I stand before you today with the intention of sharing my concerns and frustrations with the public. My father and mother have been incredibly supportive, both of my siblings and me, from the moment we came into this world. They dedicated themselves tirelessly to provide for our essential needs. My father never fell short in caring for us, and our entire family has worked diligently to ensure we have the quality of life we rightfully deserve. We lead a modest yet content life, cherishing our strong family bond. August 8, 2023, 10 p.m. Hindi pa yung father ko. I was worried, and yung lola ko rin. Kasi usually, 5 p.m. yung dad ko po nakawi na sa bayan. Kasi yun talaga yung time na nakakawi na siya sa bahay namin. And then she received a phone call from my father saying na nasa police station siya. And then nakawi na yung dad ko around 2 a.m. And akala ko doon na natatapos yung lahat. Akala ko okay na. August 27, 2023, nakita ko yung video. Sinagi, binatukan, minura at kinasanang baril lang tatay ko. As his son... I feel mixed emotions. I was disappointed, I was mad, and I was sad. This is one of my fears that I wouldn't be able to be there when he needs help. Naturally, he would feel fearful given that Gonzalez used to be a police officer and he's alone in a police station surrounded by people he doesn't even know. And sino nga naman talaga hindi hado doon? Of course, my father. She, he chose to forgive the man kahit na siya yung nagrabyado. I chose to speak with Attorney Fortune after seeing his post because I wanted him to motivate my father to take legal actions against Gonzalez. I would like to express my gratitude to Attorney Fortune for his efforts in assisting my father and affording me this opportunity, despite the potential risks involved. However, my father had already made his decision. Nevertheless, I convinced myself that I needed to instill hope in our society and to my father. I want my father to recognize the significant opportunity in confronting Gonzalez. However, weeks went by without any progress, and then I was given this golden opportunity to speak in front of the Senate. Actually, I didn't know na pupunta pala yung father ko dito. And... <laughs> I don't want fear to continuously prevail over justice throughout my entire life. God made this happen. I observed that the media provided Gonzalez with an opportunity to express his views, whereas my father, on the contrary, was unable to share his concerns during that time with the public due to the fear that our lives might be altered and one of us could potentially face harm or even death. For me, I hold respect for the Gonzalez family. But it is crucial for everyone, regardless of their wealth or status, to follow the legal procedures that apply to all human beings. The law dictates this. And resorting to threats and abuse of power should not be the approach. This is the standard process when someone is caught or has committed wrongdoing. They should express remorse, perhaps shed tears. Because they have been apprehended. But what if the video had never come to light in the media? What would have transpired then? One should anticipate the repercussions of their actions. For my father, I know he's mad at me. Hindi ko alam ang magiging decision mo. But as your son, nire-respeto kita sa decision na gagawin mo. Actually, he doesn't want me to be here because he might he fears that baka ano mangyari sa akin or to my brothers and sisters or even our family. But I want to man up. I want to show courage. I'm still grateful that you showed us that you care for us. And I'm grateful that you are my father. Either you want to forgive him or not, I want to make sure you understand that whenever an opportunity arises or a significant societal shift occurs, it's crucial to take advantage of it. This action will help safeguard the well-being of future generations. To our senators, 
It is their responsibility of each and every person in the government to prove that it isn't, that our justice system is not flawed. They have to prove it. They have to defend the underprivileged and vulnerable. We exist in a society where the notion that mayaman lang ang may justicia is becoming all too common, and I've grown wary of it. As a member of the younger generation, we are wary of this state of affairs. And I'm, and as um, we're tired of witnessing daily news reports detailing the abuse, harassment, killings, injustices, and numerous other injustices suffered by our fellow citizens. And my father is a victim of injustice. Individuals who possess firearms, especially law enforcement officers, should undertake a process aimed at promoting responsible firearm ownership to ensure they use their weapons responsibly and minimize the risk of harm to the public. Those in positions of authority should exercise their power responsibly for the betterment of society. Public taxes should be utilized for the greater good, enabling the creation of laws that ensure the safety of our citizens both day and night whenever and wherever they venture outside. And it is important to recognize that fear acts as a constraints as humans. I want my father to understand that. Kung ipapakita natin na takot tayo sa ating mga kababayan, yun na din ang magiging paraan na pamumuhay nila habang buhay. Mananatili tayong takot. We must break the cycle. We must exhibit not only resilience, but also courage in the face of those who oppressed us. Cease to underestimate the youth, for they represent the future. Don't diminish our potential. Despite our youth, our determination for a change exceeds conventional expectations. And allow me to end this with a quote. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever, whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. I hope the Senate will find merit in my words. My aspiration is that this will also serve as a beacon of hope to my father and for the public, indicating the possibility of societal transformation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Earl Banjula. We, we heard you loud and clear. And thank you for manning up in behalf of your father. And I would like to congratulate your father for raising you up to be a fine gentleman you are today. Ha? Pasalamat pa rin sa tatay mo. Ha? Sana walang samaan ng love between you and your father. Gusto napaka sa akin, napaka-importante yung pamilya. Ha? Uh, Mr. Alan Banjula, may samaan ba kayo ng love ng anak mo? Okay lang? Actually, nag-aalala lang po sa kanya yan. Nag-aalala ka lang. As a father po. Kasi hindi ko po alam na nandito yun. Eh. Akala ko kung nasa school po. <laughs> Actually, di po ako nagkating ang take note lang ah. Mamaya pa yung pasok ko. Papasok ng school. So, hindi ko po alam na nandito yan. <laughs> mamaya, pumasok ka na ha. Galing mo dito. Uh, uh, mamaya pa po yung pasok ko. <laughs> ha? Mamaya, mamaya pa? pa po. Panggabi po ako. <laughs> okay, pero please, please, I am asking you ha. Please, uh, huwag ka mag... Kahit na you nakita mo na mukhang nakukulangan ka sa aksyon ng tatay mo, Pero huwag kang sumama ng loob sa tatay mo. Ha? At Mr. Banjula, napaka-importante po yung pamilya. Kaya yung anak mo, intindihin po rin yan. Dahil you raise him up to be a very good uh, person. Kaya siya nagsalita ngayon. Hindi ko ha? po siya masisisi, Your Honor, kung hinahangaan niya si Atty. Raymond Fortune. Kasi magaling naman talaga abogado. <laughs>